Hey guys, Jacob Dupre here. I'm gonna show you how to quantize an FL Studio 20. The first way to quantize is by changing the global quantization settings. And what that will do is quantize or fix the rhythm of what you play in real time as you play it. So you don't have to fix it afterwards. It will interpret what you play and snap it to a grid and make it rhythmically perfect. So let's first record a part without quantization. So alarm to record, and I'm gonna go ahead and record just a simple little kick pattern. Give myself a count in. Here we go. Okay. So here's my pattern that I just recorded. And as you can see, some of the notes are closer to the grid, some are off, right? But all of them are off at least by a little bit. So if we change this setting now to step and now record the same part again, watch what happens. Now you could even hear how I played it. It wasn't exactly on the beat, right? Now listen to it on playback. So each one of these notes has been snapped perfectly to the appropriate grid line for that rhythm. The second way to quantize is to do it after you record a part, so rather than before like we just did in real time. So to do that, let's go ahead and record a new pattern, and I'm going to turn the global quantization off so it doesn't quantize while I'm playing. So let's set up, we've got our count off on. Let's just play another simple kick beat. Okay, so we have that part, pretty simple. Here's what it sounds like with no quantization exactly as I played it. So now you say, I wanna quantize what I've played. So what you're gonna do is highlight all those notes, which you can do with the select tool. Then we're gonna to go to the drop down menu and go to tools. And in tools, you'll see here our quantize options. We have quick quantize, quick quantize start times, and quantize. We're gonna to go to quantize because that's the full quantize function that opens this window right here. Now you have a few options. You have template, which is a groove template that will snap what you play to a groove. You have strength, in which you can quantize the start time. That way we'll turn the quantize off. If you turn the knob all the way up, now it has quantized it to the grid. If you change the duration, now it has quantized the duration of the notes to snap to the grid. And again, if you turn it all the way to the left, now it's back to originally how I played it, to the original performed note length. Then you have the sensitivity, which is over on the right. You can see if you change that, it also adjusts the notes and how they fall on the grid. Then next to duration, you have some options. You have leave duration, leave end time, quantize duration, and quantize end time. So you can see how those change where the notes fall on the grid as well. Now, let's check out the groove templates. Right now it's on 16th drummer swing, but you have all these different templates available and they're all based on different grooves, different genres of music. And what it's doing is putting a grid there for the notes you've played to be locked to. So if you wanted something that was a 16th push groove or a groovy 16th 70s groove or a, a hip hop groove, you could try out these groove templates until it fit the part that you played. Let's go to Surf Rock. So when we go to that one, you can see how it just changed the screen. So these red lines are now different based on the groove that I just selected. So now if I turn up the start time, that would be all the way snapped to the grid. I can do the same with the duration of the notes. And remember, I can change these. If I want it to quantize the duration perfectly, now it's quantize each note to fit perfectly within each grid line. Now, these levels down here, 
have to do with the groove as well. This velocity one is one we can play with. Now if I turn this all the way down, these are the velocities that I originally played when I recorded this part. So each note was the exact same velocity, the exact same volume. Now if I turn up the velocity, these are the velocities that are represented from the groove preset. So the groove preset doesn't only have specific rhythms, specific grooves, but each note is a different volume. So it has a feel. So it's a little bit like you were having a human play it, giving accents and such. So now if I play this back, These first notes are a little bit louder than the second one in each group. So again, this is the original velocity I played. And this is the quantized velocity set to the groove preset. I can try other groove presets. Let's try uh, 16th groovy 60s. Now you see that changed the grid to reflect 16th notes. Now if I turn the knob all the way down, this will reflect my original velocity that I played, where each note is the same. And if I turn it all the way up, these are the velocities coming from the groove preset. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, please comment them below. Thanks so much for watching.